Hello again, and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare Tips. This is Asian Rajib, and we will be taking a closer look at the S Ravage Shotgun, a classic weapon under the new name in an honor of Sandy Ravage. A prestige token is required to unlock the S Ravage. It has high damage, but the range of the one shot kill is low. Outside of a comfort zone within 5 meters, you sometimes need 2 or more shots to kill. Coupled with a slow fire rate, the S Ravage is a difficult weapon to use. To be effective with this weapon, you have to get really close to the enemy, and demands a strict playstyle with a fast-paced aggression. Aiming down the sights does tighten up the pellet spread, though the laser sight also achieves a similar benefit, so it is best to use it once it's unlocked, as aiming down the sights will slow your reactivity, with the aim time being equal to the assault rifle, unless you use the quick draw. The long barrel does slightly increase the one hit kill range, but it is somewhat hard to notice in most cases, but I would recommend using the attachment still. The suppressor also does a little to its range, and can save you from alerting other enemies nearby, though you have to be really close to make the most of it, and it is a usable attachment. The smart shot optical attachment allows all the pellets to be fired directly at the enemies while aiming down sights, increasing the chance of one shot kill, but overall not a useful attachment due to a long lock time and unreliable performance of the S Ravage. Any payload that allows you to stay hidden is useful to surprise enemies with a superior positioning. The FDL's face shift and Phantom's active camo are useful to help you get behind the enemies easier. For the perks, Ghost, Momentum, and Gung Ho are essential for speed and stealth enhancements. Though it is possible to use the S Ravage on all maps, it is best to use it on a smaller, tighter maps. If you find yourself on an egg map, find an indoor space and lock down the area and let them come to you. In turn, you can easily ambush them. Otherwise, move quickly and try to flank the enemies from the side or behind. Unfortunately, there will be times where you have to face the enemy directly. The survival tip with a shotgun in this situation is to hug a cover or wall when firing at the ranges where you need two shots to kill. Just simply pop in and out when shooting. Also, if the gunfight occurs at a close range, you could boost jump to confuse the enemy, which makes it much harder for them to shoot at you, giving you enough time to land a secure kill should your first shot fail to do so. Overall, the S Ravage doesn't live up to its legendary status, with its poor and unreliable performance, similar to the Rack 9 shotgun. Though it has remained to be seen if the S Ravage will ever get a patch to increase its performance. For now, you are better off spending your classic weapon token to other practical weapons like the MacTap 45 or the TF141 intervention. And that's a wrap for this video. This is Asian right, Rajib. Thank you for watching. It's amazing. It just shoots yeah, slow like the, the cockpit.